And among China's many cultural traditions, receiving the hong bao is definitely a favorite. These are red packets containing money often given to youngsters by their elders during the festivals. And while most people are excited by the prospect of a cash gift, some are fascinated with the packet itself. We head over now to Guangdong province and pay a visit to one such person. Entering Liang Qunle's home is like entering a museum. The Hongbao envelopes displayed on the floor are a mere one-tenth of a collection, which boasts some 20,000 and covers the history of Hongbao design. In the early days, a Hongbao was just a red paper packet. Later, traditional wishes for health and happiness began appearing on the envelopes, featuring auspicious patterns of animals, pine trees, and gods. But as time goes by, the patterns and sizes have evolved. This was used in the wedding ceremonies. It was the largest of all kinds of home bow at that time. However, the present ones are much bigger than those in the past. Advertising has also started to appear on home bow as China's economy develops. One of Liang's favorites was issued by the Development Bank of Singapore. They are very special. Every year there is only one set issued, a boy and a girl. This is the earliest, and the styles have changed over time. Liang's collection has become well-known, and a private exhibition has attracted many visitors. In Chinese culture, the Hongbao is a kind of bridge for relatives and neighbors, as blessings are passed from one to another. It always makes one happy to receive a Hongbao, whether you care for the money or the Hongbao itself. Simple and small as it is, a Hongbao represents the traditional culture of China and the wishes for a better life for Chinese people. CCTV.